That's Ramsey wants to leave. Jay oh yeah, Ramsey, yeah, he do. Hey, AB might have just said a tramp for real. He did, but he they're gonna do. Yeah, they're gonna do something. The fuck out. CBA. Gonna, yeah, the, the CBA, CBA comes. Come they cut that. They cut that shit. Mandela effect. Yeah. So I was just saying, bring up the Mandela effect because people saying that Ash never won, but he won in two thousand nine. I mean, ninety nine. They saying he, they saying he just won the Orange League. I mean, he just won the Aloha League, Alola region, in the in the episode. But False now he memory? finally. I'm, I'm, I'm explaining on the pot. Oh, so the Mandela effect. Without using that example. As that. Yeah. Okay. So people, a group of people have a memory of something happening, but history says that event that everybody remembers never happened. A good Mandela effect is. So um, the Sinbad movie. Remember Sinbad was a genie? Yeah. You remember that movie? Uh-huh. That movie never happened. <laughs> and that's the Mandela effect. Everybody remembers Sinbad being a, a genie. That movie's never happened. That movie never happened. There's no historical evidence of that movie ever happening, even though all of us remember it happening. This is why I didn't want to say nothing because the, these reactions is perfect. So what else? So other examples is uh, Wait. Nelson, the way it started is Nelson Mandela. Everybody remember. A lot of people remember Nelson Mandela dying in jail. But, but he. Got out and became president of South Africa. Who remembers he died in jail? A lot of people remember him dying in jail. <laughs> oh, like in in history, like yeah. it came out in the art, like. No, people just remember him dying in jail. Then he got out. Everybody was like, "What the fuck?" Then he died three years ago, and then just like, nah. So they they named the effect of false memories uh-huh. or memories that everybody remember as the Mandela effect. Forty, I get forty Mandela effects right here. That will blow your mind. Yeah. I want my mind to be blown right now. <laughs> You're mind blown already just because the shit is Mandela's in too. Jiffy, not Jiffy. People swear there was a Jiffy peanut butter. Yeah. Jiffy. Remember Jiffy? But it was never called Jiffy. It was called Jiff. Looney Tunes, not Tunes. Looney Tune? Yeah, Tune. You lying. Are you rolling? <laughs> <laughs> is Looney Tune? Yeah, oh, Berenstein Bears answer. didn't exist. No, not they didn't exist. Berenstein, is they bear Berenstein. Bernstein Bears. Bernstein Bears, yeah, or some shit like that. Curious is George Tail. No, I never seen no fucking. You remember no tail? I remember a tail. I don't remember no tail. Like, a lot of Sex in the city. And what is it called? Sex in the city. No, it's sex, sex and, and the city. city. I right? knew that. Everybody called it sex, sex in, in the city. city. Yeah, I knew that. But For I think it was like in, like the word in. Oscar Mayer, Skechers, Fruit Loops. <laughs> What's the Fruit Loops one? How they spelled it. I remember it hot like this. Fruit Loops, like. Yeah, this. Fruit. Oh, fruit. I remember this too. This box. That's what they saying, like all those things. Monopoly Man and his monocle. He had a monocle, right? Y'all remember Monopoly Man having a monocle? Nah, Pikachu's tail. What about it? It had black on it. It don't? I don't know. I thought you said the Monopoly Man had a monocle. Monopoly Man. Oh. I said Monaco? Yeah. Oh. Well, the audio would tell me if I said it. That's funny. Monaco Man probably got a monocle too. Well, these are probably just like. But the thing is, like, a lot of. That's one. Um, what did Forrest say right there when he talked about what does mom always say life is like? A box of chocolates. But read what it says now. Was like a box of chocolates. Right. And. What do you remember saying? Life is like a box of chocolates. Mama always said life is like a box of chocolates, right? Chocolates. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. See, but these are all like parts in like, I don't know. But it's, it's like pop culture stuff that everybody should remember. Yeah. Like everybody remembers. Sinbad uh, never played a genie. He was I'm just saying. dressed up in that outfit. It no, never happened. He never that, had a genie role. Whole genie movie. With the little oh, it's because everyone thinks of a Shazam. That's that's oh, that's how they explain it. Shazam. Shazam was the Shaq was, and then but he the movie everybody remembers called Kazam, and he was Kazam the genie. So the, yeah, I did think he was the genie in Shazam in Shazam for a while, and then when you see Shaq because he was rapping. Shaq, Shaq dropped the Shazam. album that year. <laughs> he did, <laughs> and he did steal too. <laughs> He did that. <laughs> I don't even know. Hey, you want to get into it? 
We could. I'm probably just not from this list because this list doesn't blow we, my mind. We ain't even really gonna get it all the way into the Mandela effect. I was just gonna explain. Nine eleven didn't happen. Y'all just remember it happened. Like, Basically, <laughs> so like if history goes back, they erase that shit and say it never happened. They would people that remember it, they would call it the Mandela effect. If they erase all the history of it happening, and like at Rounder, what else? They Mandela in us, bro. They Mandela us. They, they said did. we never won a championship. Uh, never, we never won a championship in all years. And we got how many? We got two. We got two like noble championships, right? Like noble league. We got conference. Yeah, just, no, no, one. We played in two championship games. Well, we got one in baseball, one in basketball. I guess you would consider that a Mandela effect. Because they saying it never happened, and, and it, I was there. They have, they have no record of it. <laughs> There's no rep like in 20 years. The first basketball championship is Roe Clark, right? It don't what? start till like 2013. Wow. Also, not even Roe Clark. It's like it was Roe Clark. Roe Clark, and then Bulls started running away with it. Right? It was like 2012. No, 2012. So the Hall of Fame starts up. Like if they ever to go back and like honor every championship team. Uh huh. See what the coaches know. Oh. Coaches know. Coaches um, know. Coaches know. The they current know Bulls y- basketball y- coach. Well. I mean, baseball coach. Uh, when Rock started coaching there, mm-hmm. he told him like, so Rock asked him like, so how's this? Uh, how was this? Um, this conference? How's this league? What is it? And he told him, um, well, Rounder wins a baseball championship every year. And they told him he was talking about us. Yeah. I remember, Rock came right after we left. Oh, uh, he, he was at like, he was at uh, he was at Bulls. Uh, uh. He was like, Rounder wins the, the baseball championship every year. Basketball is kind of up for grabs, but Bulls is is taking over. Yeah, and uh, and football is just a mess. Well, Pritzker was winning. After Pr- oh yeah, as we said, Pritzker is is dominating football. Yeah. And um, like, but none of that shit matters now, right? Because they Mandela in us. Yeah, Mandela does that around here. Yeah, they all out. Uh, y'all ain't hold it down, but I ain't mad at you. All right, let me see. Let me go to the next thing. Then. Uh, one gotta go, and that'll be the last thing we're talking about. Yeah, we keeping all this shit in here. You know that, right? What? Everything we just recorded. Oh, yeah. yeah, we already going. I'm going to do the intro. Oh, shit, are we? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Running Back Podcast. The podcast where you come for the entertainment, stay for the sports. I am one of your hosts, Percy. I'm Bobby Bands, y'all. And we did it a little different today. But <laughs> in the building, we got little Eloy on the table. He big Eloy. I think he was playing. Big baby. That's big he was. Big baby. We got Bruce and his bitch about to call him Reese again. <laughs> and Reef in here as well. Bruce and Reef. And Tasha behind the camera holding it down. Doing Welcome what back, she Tosh. Does. Welcome back. The running back family is complete again. Yeah, we're Almost. missing Joe. We're missing Joe, Joe and, 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 and Chris. Gas. Gas and, and, and the flames. I see. What we in here? What, what we doing? What we going? All right, so first off. Okay. Break it down. Did you hear? Break it down, break it down. This in the news right now, and mm-hmm. it might not even be newsworthy by the time it reaches, by the time this podcast reaches the people. But did you see LeVar or the media saying that LeVar called Lonzo? I saw Damage that. Damage goods. I saw that on Instagram. Did you but then after I seen the video, yeah, it was a. I understood what he was saying. Like I don't think it was. His, Can you break down what he said? Or you, you remember how what uh, he said? Um, I don't remember the exact. You remember? So I'm gonna give some some background. Um, Lonzo, after Alan Greer, I think his name was. We just gonna call him Alan. That might be an actor. Stole Alan all Greer, that money. David and Alan shit. Greer. Um, Allen stole a bunch of money from Lonzo and Big Baller Brand, mm-hmm. and he was the one that was like he was just Big Baller Brand ops. Or operations, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> now he's a big ball of red ops, like <laughs> now he's site, op. smash your site. Now he op. Um, so he was doing everything. He had the warehouse up and running. He coordinated all the, the everything for them, right? So Lonzo's like, if this nigga was so close to us and he touched us like this, I don't want nothing to do with this. I need to separate myself. And the man is like <laughs> 21 now, so he really just trying to make his own decisions. Every time he has an interview, somebody asks him about his dad, and he's just tired of that shit, yeah. right? 
<clears throat> so he's still doing the show, and I became a fan of Lonzo because of the show. Like you gotta watch it on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't even know when it drops Facebook, though. I just binge watch once it's enough episodes up. But so he's been avoiding his dad because he he knows like I'm done with the with the business. And now he New Orleans, so he ain't gotta be around his dad as yeah. much. But the kid's been traveling for years though, so yeah. like they get around. <laughs> So he tells him like he's just basically I'm done with the business I don't want nothing to do with it but he's been trying to avoid him because the Lavar has like decided to re up so he got all new people he got people doing re- three people doing Alan's business. job yeah. so Alan was doing everything now he got specialists for each position and Lonzo still don't want nothing to do with it but obviously there's only so much you can say Lavar before before he hurt your feelings right yeah. So then they come to that meeting. He's like, he did. I don't think Lonzo wanted to like disrespect him. Right. That's why he, you can see he's the like, look. I just don't want to talk Lon- about it. Lonzo looked like that kid, like in high school. You just like, I stop talking up. to me. Yeah. <laughs> just, it's I, like, like I, I understand what you're trying to tell me, but yep. just stop talking to me. I'm, I'm not trying to, I'm not, I'm not, yeah. If you were somebody on the streets, I have, I got words for you. Yeah. But you're my dad. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? So I think, um, his, 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 uh, Point, I think he got across. It's just people just took it the wrong way. How they always do with Lombardo. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know? What he said last time? Uh, when? To old girl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did we touch that? Did I we touch that last time? No, nah, but we that was months ago. I yeah. think that was, I think with, we didn't uh, talk about Molly it. Molly Karam, he told her, uh, she said, Lavar, will you allow me to, to change subjects? And he was like, you can switch subjects with me anytime. Yeah. Just like, if you say it literally, you can switch subjects with me anytime. No, switch gears. Switch gears, switch gears, switch gears. Yeah, you can switch gears. Gears, with me. subject, it, it means the same concept, yeah, right? Yeah. You can switch gears with me anytime. Like, I get why he didn't apologize. Yeah, because he um, was on, yeah. remember? He, he was on, like, the, what he said was on subject to what he was saying. Right. Gear, subject, same, like, it's the same, what, the same meaning he wants to, wanted did he, to. Did he throw in, like, a... Uh, not derogatory, but like a flirtatious word, like I baby mean, or anything like that. I don't think so. I don't, I don't remember. remember. I don't think so. Well, you know, Levar's just yeah. Levar. They so just people bash his ass. Exactly. They taking out out of they taking they taking it out of context or putting context on it that's not that wasn't intended to be on it. So yeah. like he when he said when he called them damaged goods that they forgetting what he said. Lonzo asked him, "Would you consider changing the name?" Mm-hmm. So Lonzo don't want to be. Big baller brand, BBB, all that. He, and LeVar is saying, no, I came up with this. Yeah, you see the logo is 3BB. Yeah, he said he, is, what he's saying is, I created you guys as superstars. I'm trying to change the game right. with our own shoe brand. And this shoe brand's braced, based off you guys being superstars. Yeah. That's why he's like, it takes you to elevate it. He told Lonzo, mm-hmm. this is your business to launch. Yeah. And Lonzo's just like, I don't want, I don't Most want anything of, to do with it. Most of the money recently, I think, has been Lonzo because of he the don't NBA money. Getting paid. But big ball, uh, big baller. Uh, Lavar started the shit. Yeah, know? but Lavar had, so had little money. Lavar had little money. Yeah, he don't got him. Obviously, don't got NBA player money. I think. I think what will happen now is he went into business with somebody, like a management or like someone that's gonna help him do this business yeah. the right way, and that's why he has three people running the. And that's you know. why he's really pushing it. Because one of the guys is, uh, he does one of the basketball, he does the biggest basketball, one of the biggest youth basketball tournaments for, uh, what is this shit called? Max Preps. Mm-hmm. So the Max Preps tournament, that LeVar has him work for Big Baller Brand. And another guy that worked for Adidas and Reebok running the other operations. Yeah. And he's saying, like, I talk to people and people really love Big Baller Brand still. They just need to know. Is everybody committed? Because what they love about it is it's, it's family owned and family operated, uh-huh. and people so, like different shit. Yeah, I mean people people came <laughs> they, out they to were the pay- pop up. People came out to the camps. They were paying that fucking couple hundred. Yeah, for the, for the shoes, shoes. the, the yeah. two fifty for the base Fuck shoes. Out of here. But Lonzo been been dissing the brand recently, so I don't know. I feel what what Lonzo's saying though, like. The, the brand took a hit. Yeah, but LeVar is being a gangster and he ain't going. Right. And so people, and what we talked about a couple weeks ago, motherfuckers don't like, motherfuckers sensitive. Yeah, you know, they don't like that that raw, like, what I'm saying might hurt your feelings. That Nobody wants to be so, talked to like that. Yeah, but Lonzo didn't even really say much. 
Like to to offend. Oh yeah. Lavar, for him to come like that, low key. Yeah, no, nah, he wasn't. But he's just saying the truth. He's like, who are you talking to? He's right. like the consumers. He's like the brand's dead. Right. And he's just taking it out. He took it as like a. He was coming with facts. Levar, I mean, Zoe was coming with facts. Yeah, I mean, the the brand is done. It's hurt. I think they. I personally yeah. think they should. They should bring it back. Yeah. And no. Nah, yeah. And sure. I mean, the man. Left. I don't know why you would start over. But Zoe's trying to go get like a standard Nike contract, he, and that's another thing. He that, don't want to work for it. He just wants to sign a fucking paper, get paid, and not mm-hmm. have to worry about changing shoes every quarter and. Doing with, with yeah, he, he mentioned that. that they had to change their shoes every quarter because they were ripping. But that's one of the things where Allen was cutting corners, I feel like, because now you got this new person in, in control of your shoe program, and he's worked with Adidas, so you know he got the right connections. Uh-huh. He's worked with Reebok. Like, Reebok owned the NBA at one point. Not owned, but Reebok ran, was like, running, yeah. they ran it at one point. I think they made the jerseys in late 90s, mm-hmm. right? I think so. Um, so... He got connections with big companies that got big distro. Yeah, Lavar was trying to get the little Ling Ling, the little Chinese. But they met the man. <laughs> <laughs> that was he was Alan's going to China. Allen though, Allen was going to China getting the fake shit. Yeah, you take one. Hey, but China is the plug on the Zion monster. would have fucked them shoes up, bro. Imagine if it was like high school and everybody on your team uh, had to rock the same kind of shoe. The Big Baller brand would have sponsored Zion's uh-huh. team. Yeah, boys. They would have sued him for more than what Biggie got. <laughs> they would have sued all. They you, probably would have been, yeah. would have lost the whole Boy. potential earnings. Potent, that's been, what I'm saying. The potential been, earnings uh-huh. because Biggie. What do you? Like, I think Biggie's mom got like 26 million. I might be making it up. One twenty six. She got a lot. No, she she got a lot. She was trying to sue for four hundred million and potential career earnings, right? Yeah. I don't think she won the lawsuit. I don't know. I think she got paid though, didn't she? Probably to shut up. I'm going to have to look it up. <laughs> right, leave us alone type you know, shit. that's the conspiracy <laughs> shit. <laughs> it's on some leave us alone type shit. But yeah, um, that would have been interesting as fuck, though. Uh, in other sports news, though, the Bears. Dude. What, where were you watching the game? Where, you, where were you? What was that? I know I was at. I was waiting on uh, an appointment. Well, I was in between where appointments. Where the fuck was I? <laughs> watching the shit on my phone. It was on Sunday, Sunday three. Oh, I was at home. No, 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 no. I'm lying. I went to my mom's house. Uh, I watched the first half that she called me. She's she like, cook? she cook, she been cooking because my grandpa's here. So uh, my grandpa's birthday. Happy birthday, grandpa. Happy birthday, grandpa. 67 on uh, Saturday. Guess who gets another shout out today? Who? Miguel? Yeah, it's his birthday. I know, happy Miguel. Birthday, happy boy. birthday. Yeah. That's I texted him. I was looking for pictures all day in my me phone. Me too. I'm trying to get on my face <laughs> and shit. <laughs> well, I'm like, I'm literally looking for, I'm like, man, we took a picture on New Year's. Yeah. We took a picture in front of his house. We took a picture. We don't really have that many old pictures with each other. No, not like, not like the one from, from not, not like Megan's us. party. Yeah. Oh, yeah. With the, with the. That's like the, the only day. With Josh? Yeah. Welcome home, bro. Yeah, Josh. Josh was home now, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he okay. came off Saturday. Ah, so that's what people was talking about. Yeah. Okay, nobody mentioned his name. Well, he was, what they said, they beat his case? No, he just said, like, my boy home. And yeah. Shit like that. A bunch of people Josh said Josh, beat shit. his case. <laughs> oh, but we, we, so back to the Bears. Is that your mom, crib? And, yeah, I, um. I didn't get to watch the whole game. So how did the whole game play out? It was just same bullshit like the Packers, bro. Yeah. Like the offense couldn't really do much. He was Mitch was missing a couple throws. I heard that. Um Montgomery looked okay. He was he had a lot Did he get couple, more touches? Yeah. They they were running the ball. Run this heavy game. this, this yeah. go around, right? They ran the ball. They, I heard one of the ESPN analysts say if you run the ball fifteen times, you'll never win a game in the NFL. It's, they Against say the Packers, it's a league. it was fifty passing plays, right? Fifteen rushing plays, and it was like fifteen in a row. They were just no, to, that was all the fourth game. quarter. Yeah, to end the game, like fifteen passes in a row, and they ran the same pass play. They want to end up getting picked three times <sighs> to a former Bear, and he passed to the same person all three times. He said That's to crazy. a former Bear, so they ran that play in fucking practice, this and the man so read it, and that. he made he had to read the quarterback, made the same read, and picked the shit. Give me that. Yeah, I'll take this. Let's go the other way. Um, but no, it was a defensive game. Yeah. Our kicker signed this nigga to a lifetime deal. Please. So far. Eddie. What's his name? Pinero. Eddie Pinero. 
Eddie, <laughs> Eddie De Niro, that's what I'm gonna call my him. Boy Jays, my boy Jays, my boy he was like, hey, uh, Jimmy Q, he was like, hey, um, that boy, uh, Eddie Pinheiro, we call him Eddie De Niro. Eddie De Niro. That boy Money. Yeah, he 53, right? 50, 50, 53? 52 and 53. 50, 52 and 53. Did you think that, that they got that timeout off? Yeah. You think so? Yeah. He fell to the floor. So I was always saying, if somebody falls, if I'm on the defense, especially with one him. second left, you don't touch him. Let some clock run. Don't touch him. But is it a rule? Like, I don't know if that's a rule. But he like, called timeout. If I'm downed. For too long, like you know how forward progress has stopped. Yeah. If the play is dead for too long, because niggas hit the ground all the time, get up and start running again. But then, how long can you be down before before they consider the I ball dead? Even, I don't even think the refs know. I'm sure it's, <laughs> it's like that doesn't happen. It so doesn't no, happen. As soon as he falls rule, to the right? floor, he called timeout. But did you notice how he fell though? He fell into do ankle, so I'm touched. Oh, you notice that he was like, uh. If you look at the play, like when when the clock actually hits one second. The man's not even touch the defenders not even touch him yet. He was on his foot. Yeah. And Mitch is timeout, time. He probably He knew. He probably sh- Chris Webber at that shit though. And called timeout before before the man was down. Yeah. You know Chris Webber. Remember he Chris Webber? He threw it. He threw it. No, but Chris Webber called a timeout man, when he had no timeout. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Webber would regret that for instant hey, regret. He don't even talk Chris about Webber. <laughs> instant Facts. regret. Chris Facts. Webber called a timeout with no timeouts. True. Let's take a second to pause and, and do a station identification. <laughs> <laughs> You're watching the Running Back Podcast. <laughs> if you are listening on any other podcast services, go ahead and drop this five-star rating and subscribe if you are watching on YouTube. And drop a like at the bottom of the video. You, my, they need to get this nigga a job at like 103.1, 102.7. <laughs> hey. Uh, OD, I do wish it was in hey, the dark. Wispy, wispy, you and, you and Keith Sweat, dark, you and boy. Keith Sweat will go crazy, bro. You are listening to. Yo, yo, he be like, thank you, sweetheart, baby girl, what you doing, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, listen to Keith Sweat, bro. He be like, like he be going crazy. They be like, oh my God, Keith. And he be like, yeah, you know it's Keith. So don't be. Don't be <laughs> you know it's Keith Sweat. Yeah, it's Keith Sweat. The one and only. Percy Crib. I'm telling you, get this nigga a job. Hey, hey, don't leave me back here. Hey. I'm going to be selling ass space. I told them one day. <laughs> Yo, person could make it today. He on the radio Got somewhere. The, so the right here. <laughs> I'm Go gonna put a poster shit. of Percy out here. Nah, that but shit uh, funny as the Bears they pulled it off. Right, Antonio Brown he wilding the fuck he's out. He's out here, bro. Um, I don't know, no. What? This is on some Bill Cosby shit. People are trying to ruin this man's career, man. Rack it up, rack it up. This is. Did you hear the newest story story to come out? Did you see the text messages that they supposedly showed? Talking no. about he nut on her back or some shit. On her- <laughs> no. He didn't see that. He took the headphones off. <laughs> you didn't see that? Am I reading fake text messages? Am I reading fake text messages? Chris Move, this is a real video? Yo, this is like text messages. No. Nah. He, he w- this was like his like church buddy or some shit. And like he was like, oh, after like. I, I got a. It was his trainer, right? The, the person a, that he or former it's, it's trainer. It's like three different people now. It's someone he went to church with. Uh, now his like personal trainer or assistant wow. or something. Remember that shit. song? Yeah, right. Yeah, you too. Or well, yeah, me too. Wow, what song was that? Some, some, Mister Me Too. It's the What's Me Too it? movement hitting his ass. Oh, the oh yeah, nah, they getting him. Yeah, that's correct. Wow. See, but the crazy but thing is, on? they're look at they're not they're not pursuing. Legal There's action. There's no criminal. There's only case civil. They want yeah. money. Like this, it's his money. reputation is tra- tarnished. Yeah. Let me go ahead and get and, mines while I can. And you remember he came out and said, "I don't need to play football." Remember, like a couple months ago. We, remember? <laughs> I'm playing football. <laughs> <laughs> what you say? <laughs> he came out and said, "You I'm, saw? You found him? You what they oh, say? Shit. What they say? Told you nut on the, the ass or the back? Up, <laughs> read it, read it, read it, read it." <laughs> Allegedly from uh, Google.com, we have, quote, <laughs> I jack my dick on your back, slap with you in bed. Fuck your knowledge, bitch. I've been all pro before I even knew you. You hit me up online, bitch, crying. I didn't hit you up. You never left my house since you had hotel. You fell asleep on my couch. 
Fuck out of here. My baby mama trick your dumb ass. <laughs> <laughs> blast me, you're a failure telling everybody you own a gym. What you gonna blast? Don't fucking wreck my phone line, bitch. Thought it was easy to get a come up. Using God Atlas fake asshole. You and your mama thought y'all hoes had to come up. Fuck out of here. Don't write my team. What he on? I told he those recent? Yeah, those deport. That, that was a reading from Sharif. <laughs> <laughs> Thank recent? you, brother Sharif. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, brother Sharif. <laughs> Thank you, brother Sharif. Thank you, brother Sharif. I told those, you. So those was after the allegations? Yeah. Or or did the allegations become without the support of the allegation? So because um, I remember they were saying that that he basically I thought they were saying that he gee, fucked while it, she was asleep. Does it matter when they happen? It don't. But but how dumb can you be? She he's saying, "Bitch, you trying to come after me for some money?" It sounds like after, like she came for him, and then he said, "Bitch, I ain't fuck you. I just nutted on your back." That ain't no better. <laughs> <laughs> That ain't no better. Now she going to f- fucking put uh, harassment charges on his ass for right. texting her. Like, that, I got a, a case told, against Look you. at Bruce's face. Oh <laughs> I told you he was a savage. Is there a but, date on them text hey, messages? I don't know what's wrong with him, but he's been a savage. He's been responding that way to everybody. You see what the fuck he was telling the coaches? Yeah. You know, at the Raiders. Think about it. When right. he was on the Raiders, he was a savage. He got into it with the GM, didn't he? He got into it with the GM because did you, did you watch he got fined. He uh-huh. got fined. <laughs> He still read. He got fined and um, complained about the fine. And then they were talking to the GM. Yeah. Like he was talking to the GM about like getting fined. That's what he called him the C word. What he called him? He called him a cracker. Oh, uh, probably. A hard R. A <laughs> cracker. <laughs> <laughs> hard cracker. <laughs> uh, Part two of the Antonio Brown reading. Oh, shit. Um, we got breaking news. Hold on. Hold on. Brother, Brother Reef has back. more. Allegedly, of course. Brother Reef has more. Thanks for giving us control of your life for three weeks. Next time you and your mama plotting on a come up, make sure all you hoes pick the right man, dumbass hoes. Maybe somebody you already fucked your mama controlling life like she going to help the come up. I don't know what the fuck that means. <laughs> <laughs> you failed at gymnast. You a nobody. Me and blank had a laugh about this shit. Me busting on your back. Crying emoji, crying emoji. I let him know when I'm bored. You a disgrace to little girls. You a failed gymnast living in the past at your mama house. With your mama. Which, at little, your mama house. It's a little redundant. Yeah, yeah. Uh, With your mama. Lucky I showed you around. <laughs> You're welcome. My baby mama know you a weak bitch when she spot one. You played yourself. <laughs> crying emoji. Why crying you emoji. Baby mama and all crying emoji. I don't know. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Reef. Reef. Thank you, brother. Lee. We. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Reef. <laughs> so this nigga. Do you think he's playing himself? Yes. Yeah, he's playing himself. He just admitted he's to been, trying to he, Superman that hoe. He's been. He's been playing himself. I don't know what he's been on, bro. Yeah, real talk, like. The I'll Steelers, okay, tweaking. with the Steelers. When, did you see when he came out with the Juju shit, tweaking with Juju? It don't work? It was after, though. It was running it? out, right? The lighter? Uh, it was after, know? though, wasn't it? After he left. Right, like, me and Ben were never friends. Yeah, he never looked out for me or right. some shit. And then, I think then he's, what he's tweaking I on think, Juju for? I think he's having, like, a... You think, uh, the, the what is, what is the shit called? Uh Midlife CTE? crisis. Nah, you think CTE had, kicking I, in now? I, I think midlife crisis. Yeah, man, that probably could be a result of it. Didn't he get crushed by Buddy Ass a bunch of times? What was his name? The fucking linebacker from, from the Browns or the Redskins? Who? Burfitt? Burfitt? Crushed his Maybe ass? He crushed his shit. He made that nigga crazy. You don't remember he got hit? He, he was laying there. That was like Burfitt's last, last ride. Nah, I don't remember. I'm a... I'm a Pull that shit up. I'm gonna play it right there. <laughs> Lil Eloy gonna hold it up. <laughs> but he he crushed it. You remember? I think he was going across the middle, and he like had to get extended, and he just oh, yeah. the shoulder right to the face. And I have an AB was my, laid I, out. I have an image in my head of it. I pretty laid sure. the fuck. Nah, he just been tweaking the sexual assault shit. Like the civil cases, that's people trying to uh, take some money. That's how that is. I think. Opportunity, but, yeah. Like the opportunity presented itself. Yeah, he's he's in before his that zone. in in Pittsburgh, he had a, a clean like he had a clean personality, not personality, but like reputation. Okay. Yeah, he had a clean reputation, right? He like, was always good undrafted. In the news. 
small. Yeah. And still and worked, one of the worked best. his ass off. Right. And now I feel like he got this little fame. Well, he knows he's one of the best receivers in the league. Right. So and now it's just like that plus he started getting the juice cut, then the juice cut came the, <laughs> he the, got the fucking the juice. Uh, um, he got the juice. He had the juice. He had the juice. The he was juice the cut one, became the Lego he was cut. the number one receiver in the fucking league at one point. Him and him and Julio Jones were the number one receivers. Yeah. Two, so, three years two years ago. Let's not give him too much more airtime. Well, yeah, that's and uh, Antonio. On the strength of him admitting to Superman in her. What you trying to do? You trying to get into uh, what we'll we get seen into what you, Yeah, what, okay. you, what you see earlier. <laughs> um, so I seen this post earlier. Somebody shared it on Facebook. Best 2007 albums. When I went through this, le- this list, dude, yeah. it was nuts. Bingo. It was like, what was like the first, Nassau Raven. First I was just like, moment in my head every single time. Every, this song. Every single has like a moment attached uh-huh. to it, right? Look at So the first, they had T.I. versus T.I.P. Best albums. Let me tell you all the albums that were dropped in 2007. Hip hop and R&B. Uh, you know, right. just albums in general. Yeah, run through them first. Then we can talk about the ones. Yeah, T.I. versus T.I.P. All right? That's one of them. For sure. Which was... What was on there? What you said was on there? Um, um, what we had on here. What you know about that, right? What you what know you, about? Yeah. What you know about right. that's on there? Uh, what was it? Yeah. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna run through it then. Act tip. Act one tip. You know what it is. With Big shit popping. Yeah. Big shit popping was on there. Uh, you know what it is. Hurt. Touchdown, act up, help us come in, my Touchdown. swag. Touchdown. Uh, all Tell right, so the that. next one is Chris Brown exclusive. Yep. That was with... Um, kiss Kiss. Kiss Kiss with T-Pain. Right. My f- shit with you. Wait, what? My with shit you, with you. Oh, my shit, like, bro. <laughs> that was my shit. I'm like, hold on, with me? He with like, you. my shit with you? I'm thinking like, was this our shit? <laughs> <laughs> he said pause. <laughs> was this this pause. Was, oh with you with you? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, that was a that was a hit. That was a right. he, he did the Macy Gray look through the look you did. You about I'm to a, drop the fucking thing. Bus stop. Hey, chill, B. <laughs> <laughs> uh who was on there? Uh what they had on here? You Picture Perfect, I Wanna Be. I don't think this was one of his best albums. Though. Nah. That's that that's my shit. I still play that shit today. Uh, uh Take You Down. Take You Down, yeah. Take yeah, You Down is still down. motherfuckers rocking with Take You Down. Uh next is T Pain Epiphany. I think now this is when we start touching some shit here. Bartender. The T Pain's like the all his concerts tender. is this album. <laughs> <laughs> That he, album and features. He, hey, shout out to Ben. He, he was just here last Friday. Yeah? Yeah, Jose was DJing from. D, oh, oh, I did see Yeah, DJ Enigma was DJing from, uh, I don't know. He got this club, little web club, series. Club, I've been play watching. or some shit. You know what's funny about T Pain? I do. So I went to a four local party. Like yeah? A, yeah, gee, this is. Uh, but, another one? Yeah, another one. Another one, but as, as when I was older, I was 20, like 22. So it was a private um, event. So with, at this point, yeah, I've been drinking for 10 years. Yeah, 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 just about, yeah. I was a little a veteran now, a right? Veteran. And um, so it's like a like a disclosed private event, and uh-huh. you got a, you get an email like two hours before the event, like you signed up for an emailing list, and four local t- like sends us to like the, uh, the address. Oh, so it was a four local party, four local party, not a four local themed party, four local through the party, four local sponsored uh, all the okay. alcohol. Like okay. I've never knew four local had as much liquor as they had. Like yeah, I'm trying more than the cans. They had more, yeah. More, like I remember at this point, 07, or well, I'm thinking 07. But that's when we were. That's when Four Locals came out. What 2000? What we had to be. Right? Nah, we were about 21 at the time. 2012, 2010, 10, 10, 9, 10, 11. 10. Okay, so yeah. yeah, so this is like two, three years. Remember they supposedly banned it or whatever. Right, and when I had to take all the gasoline and shit out, of super it. Sh- all that stupid yeah. shit. Oh yeah. So <laughs> I go. They have open bar. Everything's free. Yeah. Like with this event. And it was a T-Pain, he would have performed. Right. So there ends up being like a big old crowd. I'm literally like a foot away from T-Pain. Right. So I'm just, you know, me and my brother Robert were turning up, blah, blah, Listen to that, listening to this album pretty much because yeah. this is all he was playing. And some dude is like pushing people. 
He moved, oh, bitch. That was the, move, bitch. I swear to God, he's literally that was saying the four local party. The four local party. Oh, he's, shit. Move, bitch. I'm like, what the fuck? So he pushes a girl to my back. Yeah. So I look like this, and he's trying to push her. You know, I'll yeah. fuck out of here. I'll push his ass. That. Yeah, this ain't that. Because there was, you know, it's, these these counselors, all white people. Yeah. This thing was like probably reef size, like 6'4", trying to bully people. And all the white people are like, oh, my God, oh, my God. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. he sees me. I'll push his ass. He's like, yo, what the fuck? I'm like, yo, you pushing people. This yeah. ain't that, bro. He's like, what's up? Like, square up with me. Bro, the whole thing opens up into a circle, everybody. So I'm Ooh, like, gosh. yeah, I swear to God, <laughs> T-Pain stops performing. This is like, bro, <laughs> bro, T-Pain, he in Chicago, so he's like, what the fuck? And now T-Pain's behind me. So like all this right here is just open space. So I'm running. So, like, so Buddy's backing up. Like, what's up? Backing up, backing up. So I'm going towards him. Like, what's up? So the crowd like kicks him out. Security stars coming. They like take this dude out. Yeah. T-Pain, like, I turn around, T-Pain's like, yo, you good, bro? Yeah. This is my, my highlight, my, my <laughs> T-Pain moment right here. I'm like, yeah, yeah, you good. He's like, all right, I'm at the bar, <laughs> <laughs> and, he, <laughs> and he started going back to it, G. But, and then <laughs> dude waited for me outside. He should have said, I'm going to buy you. <laughs> <laughs> dude waited, bro, he was, I'm walking out, this is like three hours later. You know, we all drunk and shit. Uh, this big ass nigga sitting right there at the steps. What's up, bro? What was your problem in there? All polite and shit? I'm like, this nigga was real. He must have sobered up, waiting. Uh, what was your problem? I said, no, you were pushing people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, ain't none of that. And then my brother Robert drunk. Got my knife out. <laughs> I swear to God. They told I got my knife out. I asked you if I need to have any sounds queued up. <laughs> you should have seen a little. He had a little pocket knife. It was funny, but that's my little T-Pain. That's, that's this album right here. Uh, after that, graduation, Kanye. Flashing lights. This is some people's favorite Kanye album. Uh, I'm not saying I'm people. I think college dropouts are mine. Um, so, damn. This wiki page is long as shit. Uh, he has Stronger, Champion. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Can't Strong, tell me nothing. Can't tell me nothing. Good life. Can't tell me nothing. Yeah. Homecoming. 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 The whole album was hits. Yeah. Yeah, you facts. You let this ride. Yeah. <laughs> Soldier Boy. Now, I don't no. know if somebody's gonna top this. Honestly. Soldier Boy, right? Honestly. <laughs> respect respect Yo, this man. Let, you gotta play the songs. For soldiers? For soldiers. You gotta Big play. Big soldier. Them. You, you got the you gotta make people relive the soldier moments because a lot of people don't remember these soldier songs. They are sleep on soldier boy. Boy. <laughs> Listen, they're not. What's that? Speak your piece. You song? Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, oh soldier. yeah, we uh, we don't want no uh, lawsuits. Nobody uh, trying to come over. We're gonna money. give you all snippets of this. Yeah, yeah, you gotta do the bear crawl. <laughs> <laughs> fair use, fair use, fair use. Oh, uh, you see his back? <laughs> <laughs> soldier boy, soldier boy, soldier boy, soldier boy. What was it called? Crank that. Oh, two. Nah, yeah, crank that. Bro, right. this is this is this is, is like, like a this is what sort oh, I'm looking shit. for. Oh shit, oh shit. I iconic moment in hip hop right here. Soldier yeah. boy changed the game in 2006. With. Also with T Pain too. <laughs> Oh shit. Bro, come on. That's all you gotta play. That's literally all you gotta play. That's one, so but that's, that's one, that's one. That's how he like broke in. Yeah, so but hold on, hold on. What? That's it. <laughs> you. <laughs> that's what that's what dropping the club. You, 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 right there. That's all you, and I promise you the club is gonna go, what the fuck? Oh. Hold on, hold on. What else is on there? Uh, I think that's gonna have to be a preset for Yeah, <laughs> right? We, we do. We think I think we do need to download that. We might have to put soldier on the wall, bro. <coughs> Low key. Soldier. Or or at least put <laughs> Yo. <laughs> put hey, Bapes. I got me some Bapes was a classic on there. Yes. Uh, hey, man, Hey. I got me some. Hey, you know? tell me what else is on there. She got a. Oh, this is in club. Look at it. Exactly. Talk. Look at In Chicago. <laughs> Anywhere. You play dunk. It's going nuts. Do this. <laughs> yeah. Facts. Asses is clapping. Facts. I promise you. 
But I see. we didn't even talk about this one. Yeah, trick. That's Bruce's shit. That's this that was a different that that hit Bruce different. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce was like, yeah. <laughs> well, look, real. Hey. Uh, we gotta fast forward it. Uh, yeah. That was the. Sh- I'm telling you. Now. All right. Next. Hold on. We. What's the, what's what's that one? But it went down so, at plenty of homecomings. Facts. Plenty of uh, high school dances. Yeah. <laughs> hey, this this might be past the fair use, but <laughs> here you go, here you go. Uh. Hey. Watch me do. Got to stop uh, like this. Nah. And when uh, I say you do this, she, then, you, then you hit one of these. Uh. See this? All these songs, like, dropped as singles when we were eighth grade, seventh grade. And then he compiled. And, and then waka boom boom just hit he, us. With he a hit fucking, us over here with a mixtape called an album. Yeah. He or did. like, he probably signed a deal. <laughs> <laughs> now my my ringtone. <laughs> I want to get right to the part though. <laughs> She thirsts. She thirsts. I'm going to sing to y'all because she like my swag. Percy used to play this when he used to cut his hair. That was my shit shit. (laughs) All right. (laughs) Next album. We ain't talking about this one. Wait, wait. We're still on this. this Soldier had another one that we ain't talking about. Which one? It ain't going to play though, but let me get him. Oh, yeah. Let me get him. Shoot. Damn, that's right. I used to download all his songs on LimeWire. That and a couple videos that, or songs that you never plan to get. No, videos, dude. I can't talk about either. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you're going with? <laughs> hey, no, I'm going to tell y'all what I used to do on LimeWire days, all right? Remember when, um, what's her name? Um, what's the white girl's name? Par- Jake Baby Mom? No, Paris. Uh, uh, something Paris. Hilton? Paris Hilton? Yeah. Had her sex tape? Yeah, yeah. In yeah. 06, 05. So I, used, I got in trouble. I used to work. I used to. <laughs> I was a little. I was a hustler though. We always been a hustler. I was 13 years old working a summer job, and I was using the internet on the vision and using their line wire to uh-huh. download illegal movies. And I had a burner. Allegedly. Allegedly. This I never been committed of uh, charged of any crimes. All drops. All charges were dropped. <laughs> um, never charged, but they dropped. Them. <laughs> no, but uh, I I started burning the Paris Hilton sex tape and selling them i was a dvd yeah. man at 13 g boy i swear to god niggas should called you bollywood <laughs> no. well i'll tell you i only asked my cousins it was just that one sex that i was just making cds and selling it to these niggas you, you ain't burn uh oh you ain't uh, ray j's and all them no nah. what cds usher's album I had no, no, no. Some girl did that. She burned it for oh, us. She beat you to it. Yeah, she, I remember. I had it green. She saw you were selling the sex tapes, so she was like, uh, <laughs> so she was like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna I'm sell these these CDs." Yeah, CDs. Was, and well, you got the DVDs, CDs, DVDs. Y'all was out here. I, hey, I just bought some at JJ's Fish <laughs> yesterday. CDs, DVDs. I bought some for my dad. Cause he got the CD, I got him. Uh, Big booty clap is ninety nine. No, no, not no sex shit. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> you know what dude told me to? <laughs> we, we off topic. <laughs> like <a> fuck, <laughs> you know what dude told me to? He said, "Man, I, I know y'all youngest don't need no sex, no uh, no sex videos. Y'all look like y'all got plenty of girls." I'm like, "Nah, nah, B, we, we don't need none of that, right?" Yeah. He goes, "It's crazy. My top customers are the women." I said, what the fuck? The old women love these sex tapes. I said, the sex videos. Damn. I said, oh, hell no. Me and JJ's get a 10-piece with two DVDs. <laughs> Got you some. 10-piece, two DVDs for $10.99, boy. <laughs> you good. That's a night. That's a Friday night right there. 10-piece and two explicit videos. Hey. And a pint, you in That's there. Some sauce. <laughs> <laughs> you in there. <laughs> now, uh, so the after Soldier Boy. Yeah. Is Plies. Right. I'm a Plies out on here. <laughs> he did his thing on <coughs> But this wasn't his biggest. No. I think his mixtapes were bigger. I didn't even peep this, though. He had uh, Running My Mama Crazy on here. You remember that shit? Mm-hmm. Going to the streets to my mom, still a bit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Miguel used to say that shit. <laughs> shit. shit. Yeah. And then Shawty was on here. Shawty, yeah. Oh, my girl. Yeah. Shawty, yeah. Uh, 
Oh. <laughs> Shout out to Tris too. <laughs> DJ Cal is next. We the best. We the best. We the best. So what we got on here? We got we taking over. Ace Hood. Ace Hood shit, but it's on here. You know how that should go. Cal. Who, who else Curry. is on there? Who else is on there? Because I know oh, the there's song? a bunch. Yeah. On on we taking over the Otis album. No, the album. You got brown paper bag, which I thought was I thought that was a. Uh, Duffel bag boy song, but I might be tweaking. Nah, that's a different what? Brown, brown paper, ba- paper bag. Brown paper bag. But that's bag. not uh duffel. Bo- oh, you thought it was I duffel? I thought it was duffel oh, bag. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's them. And then you got I'm so, so good. hood. Yeah. I that was I'm from um, the ghetto. Yeah. I'm from the ghetto. This album, hey, we tweaked on this one. We was looking up first. New York is bad. Uh, that's about it. Yeah, <laughs> it died after that. Once I looked, it yeah. screwed pretty so, much. I mean, but you, you released an album and you got three, four singles. That was like his that. first That's album, fire. I think. That's fire. All right, that was his first album. We the best when he launched his. Yeah, and he came. He came out the gates with. Was it that Ace song or was it uh? We, so we taking over. I'm, I'm so, so hood. hood. I think he, it was he, I'm, he, so I'm so hood. So hood first, and then and the, then we taking over, right? Yeah. And then Brown Paper Bag was probably like, was that a, a single or is that just like? Which one was the one with the Wayne verse? Wayne was on the I'm So Her remix. No, Wayne's on Brown Paper Bag. I don't know if that's the verse you're talking about. Though. No, you're talking about with the Wayne verse, the remix? Feed Me Rappers. The Feed Me Beats. I'm on the chain, I need a leash. Put, I say, I need what's, what song is that? That shit was bars. But that was the, Why that was the, my, I'm, Jesus. that was the hit him up? Yeah, that was We Taking Over. Oh, we Taking Over. Yeah, 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 no, nah, but I'm So Her remix with everybody on it, remember? Yeah, all these remixes. What was your favorite verse? I gotta, I gotta go, go, go to. Uh... I think, I think Luda took it, took it to me. Who Luda? Yeah. Luda what was am not... I thinking about? Luda was nice though. Hey, Luda all, on all his features. I read the article talking about I was slept on Luda for Chris. Luda, yeah. come out. <laughs> <laughs> Can Luda come out? <laughs> <laughs> what was I looking at? Uh, uh the, we taking over. Yeah, we taking over. No, no, no. I'm so her remix. I'm so her remix. I just wanted to see who was on it. Next is Lloyd. What was on there? Street Love. Yo, the comments on this album is the truth. Look at these comments. That's what they're saying? Didn't that Lloyd album come in 06, though? March 2007. Then that nigga always looks sad. March 13, 27. Yeah. 27. 07. Is what Wiki said. No, I think Southside was his best album. I was gonna say that song Southside. though. Southside was his best Southside album. Southside niggas thinking they could sing, boy. <laughs> Southside, Southside. Who was on? You? With 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 Lil Wayne. I didn't know y'all was on it. They said Big Reese produced it. <laughs> Big Reese <laughs> produced. <laughs> <laughs> that's his ass. Big Reese. <laughs> Big Reese. Get a shot. I should have told you. Oh, get a shot. He was a hit. Get yeah. A shot. He was a hit. Yeah, get a shot. Uh, player's Prayer. Remember that? I remember that. I don't remember how it goes. Get a shot. Nah, Player's shit. Prayer was, was a shit. I remember, I remember the name. But I don't I, can't, I, can't, yeah. I can't vibe with it. Uh, Take it home to me. That was Let us know what y'all liked on that shit. Um, they said that was his best All right, product. next one, um, the dream. The dream. On this is. Reef told me this wasn't his only album, but <laughs> to me, this is his only album because I didn't listen to any others. He's smart. Why? But he had to release this song prior to the album because the the first song was "Shawty's the Shit." Well, fabulous. Yeah, that killed that shit. Shit, 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 shit. Sugar, honey, iced tea. Fab is slept on too. Yeah, Fab, Fab don't get enough love. Yeah, Fab's a legend. You heard the soul Brooklyn with the Fab on it? Uh, you didn't hear it? You did it? No? You haven't been paying attention to? Casanova been getting everybody. Yeah, we're doing a whole running back uh, production of it. Who? The soul Brooklyn job. We saw running back. We saw Chicago. <laughs> so Chicago with it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, y'all uh, ain't know? That's news to everybody here? Uh, she Needs My Love, Falsetto. Falsetto. Gotta give a shout out to my boy Reggie. Rest in peace, bro. Rest in peace, this Reggie. Nigga, that was his uh, ringtone. 
I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna tell the story? Nah, he was just so big with a big ass falsetto ring to him on his next tail chirp. <laughs> he sounded like he could hit the falsetto too. He though. did. <laughs> he used to hit that shit. Uh, that's really it on there though, ain't it? Uh, Living a lie, love song, ditch that, purple kisses. Yeah. Oh, he did drop an album after this. Yeah, he had some. Yeah, he, had, he, he did. I remember with the American flag on it. Right? Yeah. The American dream. Who else is on here? Rihanna. Good girl gone bad. This one we we didn't get to. Again. Number one. Umbrella. Umbrella. Eh. Uh, push up on me. Don't stop the music. Breaking dishes. Shut, shut up and drive. That was a commercial hit, right? That was like a mainstream. Shut up and drive. Man, drive. I don't go. Music. Uh, that was Reef, Reef got yeah. the love. The music. Where were you at in 07? <laughs> Not supposed to be listening to this shit. Right? <laughs> Fifth grade. <laughs> next <laughs> next album, uh, Bone Thugs and Harmony. Um, I follow one of the Bones on Instagram. I feel bad because I ain't got shit to say about this album. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really fuck with dudes. Too. <laughs> I mean, there ain't really What's much it? on there. Right? Go I follow. Ruggish, ruggish, bump. Ruggish, ruggish. Uh, yeah, we can uh, skip. So we Sorry. Get, yeah. Hey, my bad, bone. We got, now we, got now we getting into the females over here. Keisha Cole, Mary J. Blige. Mary J. B. MJ. <laughs> nah, 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 Oh, shit. My bad. We, we on Mary J. right now. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. It's because they, they, they hit a spot. I was singing earlier. They they really did, though. What's that? Uh, Bro, Mary. Grown woman. Grown woman. Just fine. Just fine, huh? Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, what else is out there? Heard again, shake down to the morning roses. Was it that song with Wayne on there? She got one with Usher called song. Shake Down. <laughs> Which one? A song with Wayne. I don't see Wayne on none of these credits, bro. Neo produced one of the songs called Smoke. Okay, Neo. We ain't got no hits on there. She had the just fine. That was we was oh, just yeah. banging that shit earlier. Yeah, true. Keisha Cole's next. <laughs> Keisha Cole really came with it. Yeah, this was different. This touched me a little different, no homo. I was singing my ass <laughs> off as a kid. Let it go. <laughs> Featuring Missy and Lil Kim. Remember you smile, Lil Kim? Yeah. So when was this? 07? Lil Kim was was still Nikki was hit. coming. Nikki, Nikki was, was coming. Yeah. Nikki had just got signed by by a nigga named Wayne. Mm. I just signed a chick named Nikki Minaj. Minaj. Yeah. <laughs> what else? Is uh, for now, I remember. I remember when my heart broke. <laughs> <laughs> the intro is the best part when it starts. And uh, my fucking uh, what else is that? Should I let you go? Remember that. Work it out. Let it go. Remix. And then heaven sent. Heaven sent. Heaven, that's the I'm gonna be the one I'm gonna be the <laughs> from Yo, hot, I set from heaven Yo hot Alright next album is Pretty Ricky Late Night Special This is This they is whole, like, this, this is a Discography whole, is a late night special Yeah they, they got their own little section yeah. In here to me Like, like a whole Everyone movie. knows Pretty Ricky is pretty You know what I'm saying Just it, Would you call it baby making music though Or is it just We like, was babies trying to make babies Without Making babies. Yeah. I don't even know if he was. <laughs> this, this, 07, yeah. we was, we was messing around. On the high line. <laughs> <laughs> We're teenagers <laughs> finding our, uh, uh, what we like and what we don't like. Literally. <laughs> Late night special. Uh, On the hotline. Your love like, love's like honey. honey. <laughs> I'm looking for this. <laughs> <laughs> Push it, baby. <laughs> Wet dreams, shit up and down, peer pressure. This shit was written by a teenager. Yeah. Should have been a model. Hey, girl. <laughs> What's next? Jay Z, American Gangster. Nah, that was some. No. Nah, uh, now we getting into. <laughs> yeah. Do we even gotta gotta mention the shit? Man, fucking American Gangster. Rock boys in the house tonight. Blue Magic was that Blue shit. Blue Magic. Blue Magic was a hit. Blue Magic was a hit in the streets. Yeah. 
Yeah. Real Magic, the American Gangster song. And yeah. the last we got is Lupe Fiasco. Lupe. I'll tell your Lupe cool. story, bro. Oh, wait, what's on here first? <laughs> what's on here? What's on here? What's on here? Is Kick Bush on there? Has to be. Baby says, cool for thoughts, free chili. But the, the thing is, like, I really didn't walk with Lupe like that. And not even on some, like, let me let me not listen to this nigga because I don't fuck with him. I just wasn't. I didn't catch wind of the nigga. Nah, don't. Especially until, after Kick Push. After Kick Push, I feel like. Hip Hop Saved My Life, I did like, though. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. I did. I did fuck with Hip Hop Saved My go. Life. Uh uh. Hey, me. Hey. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Low key, if I play some of this shit, I'll probably be like, yeah, I did fuck with that too. Nah, I, uh, <laughs> the only story I got with Lupe, you know, is I seen them record the Kick Bush video, like one of the scenes at Diego. Mm -hmm. We hooping in the in the park. I just see some kids like recording. I didn't think nothing of it. Right. Then like a year later, this video drops. Uh -huh. And it's like the biggest song. Everybody's trying to be a fucking skateboarder now. Yeah. Remember I told that was no, that wasn't that wasn't that was Look, long after. I tried to be a skateboarder. skateboarder. I was in the middle. Of, oh, that had to be around kick push, right? When everybody was trying to skateboard, and that was when, when I had my skateboard and the big uh, tatted white dude, but it was tatted like Wayne came and uh, came and said, uh, "Let me buy your board for four hundred dollars." Oh yeah, Remember? yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah, like, yeah. no, I just bought it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was skateboarding at that time too. But now I seen them recording, and then like. A couple months later, yeah, boom, they dropped the video. Dope. And I'm like, oh shit, I see Diego there. But yeah, I, I could have been in the video, yo. For sure. I'd have had his ass jump over my back or something. <laughs> <laughs> you trying to you trying to rank these or are they just uh, they just different like modes, right? Different moods. The ten the ten the ten. I tried to say the word four times, they got it wrong each time. Like you can you can pick each album for a different mood. Right. Like, but it's crazy that it's all 07 though. Oh, but I, music after that point changed. Don't you think? Yeah, that that like this was the last year. Cause remember, Lil Wayne started coming out. Oh, Drake was out. Oh, uh, I think it had to run a little bit. 07, 08, 2009. When was when was uh when did when did Jay drop DOA? Maybe in 2009. Let's see. It was like nine or, or or ten, right? Maybe ten. Let's see. Dre dropped. I'm Dre. I keep saying Dre. Uh, Jay dropped. Fuck Dre. <laughs> Any nigga that rock with Dre. <laughs> Y'all watch Power. <laughs> I'm like, damn. I was about to do the, the fucking uh, Suge Knight. You don't want your producer all in the video. <laughs> nah. <laughs> fuck Dre. Funny. Oh, 2008. Hell. I mean, 2009. I'm 2009. Yeah, okay, 2009. So from 07, because that's when, well, T Pain was right before 07, right? 06, that first, 05, that first 06. One. So from like 06 to 09, maybe. Motherfuckers was. Really, that was one little era. Yeah. And then DOA comes and. Basically, Jay said we switching shit again. Facts, he did. New York, reefing his, reefing his niggas. Oh, but you asked who was on um, <laughs> you asked who was on the I'm So Hood remix. It was Jeezy, Luda, Busta, Big Boy. I don't remember Big Boy on there, but I bet I know his whole verse. Lil Wayne, Fat Joe, and Birdman. I remember this shit. I used to hate Birdman voices, verses, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did, did you notice they had to switch the beat every time he rapped? Yeah, they did. Every time he rapped about his red car, they had to switch the beat. <laughs> <laughs> What's his mom's name too? Uh, fuck. He named the album after. Yeah, I know Weezy's mom's name, Cedar. What the fuck was? I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember. Um, that whole that whole. 2007, that was crazy. Yeah. So you saw this on Facebook, right? Yeah. And then I saw another list on Facebook. And let me tell you what you I've probably about seen that. it now that I think about it. It's rules that you should teach your son. Uh -huh. Right? So number one is never shake a man's hand sitting, sitting down. Sitting down. Okay, then I, seen, I think I've seen this. Right. Yeah. It, it pops up from time to time. So agreed, right? Mm -hmm. It happens. I do it sometimes. I'll yeah. be tired. Like, 
If it's I'm recovering from the injury. I might not stand up to shake your hand. Like if it's you and what what I'll be. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Um don't enter a pool by the stairs. Why? That's exactly what I said. (laughs) That's what she said. I was just like Do you agree with that? Uh, I don't, don't enter the pool by the stairs. You don't enter the pool, period. No, well, <laughs> touche. Because you don't swim, so. <laughs> when I did, like, I would just jump in. Why by the, but why not? I definitely don't exit by the stairs, unless it's been all day. Well, why not by the stairs? Do you know why? I don't know. I don't, I don't get it. Oh, okay. If anybody yeah. knows why you don't enter, but I what I was feel, saying I, was, like, it's just, it just kind of look. it looks kind of feminine. You you holding the pole you and you got to turn around you got to look at you first. step and shit yeah, yeah. You got, uh uh and <laughs> it coast off like it just looked a little a little sus. especially the steps where you put your feet into the gap that should be hurting my toes sometimes I'll be missing <laughs> the, the little fucking, big ass holes in it yeah shit. when you put your pinky feet, toe getting stuck it in the ain't hole. a real ladder it's right. just a hole in the pool so you, oh, boom you know what I'm talking about yeah, okay, yeah boom I feel boom you. I sounded like my dad <laughs> you know what I'm talking about <laughs> that's funny. Uh, the man at the barbecue is the closest thing to a king. You know the man thing? at the barbecue. The man at the barbecue grill. My bad. The man. The man cooking the food at the, nah. at the barbecue. You don't think so? No. Nah. He got to be doing it right or something. Like, what, why you disagree? He's not king. Closest thing to a king. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nah. I'm the man at the grill at all the barbecues. Yeah, ninety so percent of them. So you want to be treated like a king. Bring me my beer, bro. That's different. I mean, <laughs> I understand looking out. Yeah, everybody looking out. Take bro. care of the cook. It's like the same concept with fucking uh, with at a restaurant. You don't fuck with the people that's cooking your food, you know. Nah, so, cause they're gonna f- what, talk you to me nice. In our shit, this nigga talk, talk to me nice. I might drop. He gonna shit. leave a tip jar next. Next time he's cooking, <laughs> talking about treat me like a king. Y'all gotta pay me now. Talk to me nice, B. All right. So in a negotiation, never make the first offer. Thing, but. For me, real estate's a little different. If I got the buyer, I'm obviously got to make the offer to get the shit. Yeah. But in terms of just like if we're we're already into negotiations, you don't come off of your spot. Don't be the first one to budge. Yeah. You know, so don't make like okay. I be so budging. This is what I do for I you. I be budging. You be you be you be giving people this what I, I do. Be, I be, but you yeah. take you also take care of people though. They, they yeah. teach that too though, yeah, right? Yeah, I be like budging. take scratch mine, I scratch yours. Yeah. Right. So, but I, I I definitely agree with that one. Um. Request the late checkout. Easy money. For like a hotel? Hotel, yeah. I always request a late checkout. Right? Oh, why not? I guess, yeah. It's, a, it's one of those why not. Yeah, yeah. Um, when entrusted with a secret, keep it. No uh, snitching. Fuck 6 9 <laughs> The chances in the news today. That is the... Wilding out. Fuck 6 9 That is the PG or PC way of saying no snitching. No snitching. When you trust it with a secret, keep it. Yeah. Okay, I see no, what they're doing. Yeah. Hold your heroes to a higher standard. I feel like that's what Cole did with that song. Remember uh, like when he came at? Like to, yeah. Or expect them to be here better than, than the average. Um, so that way you're not just following any old, any old, any old body, you know? Return to borrow a car with full gas. I just borrow my own car all the time. And, we and never, we she never. She asked for gas money before I, uh, before I could get it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I, I can't say. And then I, I haven't really been, I haven't borrowed a car before other than my mom's. Or I Tasha's. usually just I leave it. feel like that's borrowing a car. I usually, I usually just leave it at what you gave it at me. That was my policy too. Like, like you, if you had you a quarter, gave me well, a quarter unless, unless you got a little bit, then obviously I'm, a, I'm, like if you ain't got a quarter, less than a quarter. Well, like the rental car, right? Yeah. Bring it, bring it back the way you got it. Yeah. That's that was my philosophy, but I've never actually borrowed somebody's car before. Like yeah. I think I've used your car to like I'm gonna run to the store. Yeah, come, I'm yeah. not gonna go put a yeah. full tank of gas to go run to Seven exactly. Eleven to get yeah. to get us water. Mm-hmm. Or if I'm going to pick up the food, and you got the car, and you don't feel like driving. No, I'm, that's not. It's not the same thing. It's not. Yeah. Nah, um, uh, it depends situation. How long you had it? You're driving. Situational. Yeah, situation. Think, yeah, depends on the situation. For sure. it could be like if I borrowed the car so for if I'm borrowing your car for two car. weeks, yeah. yeah, I'm I'm in from out of town and I'm borrowing your car for the two weeks that I'm here, yeah, I'm oh uh, so of totally appreciation. I appreciate oh, yeah. you for letting me borrow your car. Here go this tank. That's different than than like I'm gonna run to the store for us. Mm-hmm. You know, <laughs> yeah. 
Um, play with passion or don't play at all. I learned this from you. Yeah. Like. <laughs> <laughs> play with hey, passion or don't hey. play at all. Like, get the fuck off that, my court. That's why I'm <laughs> so hurt, y'all. I be playing so passionate yeah. still. I be thinking I'm fucking 15 and... and Hey. I, like I said, mom ain't raised no bitch, so I don't say no. My thing is, like, I know how to turn it off. You know, they always say there's no on and off switch. I, I disagree with that when it comes to me so much because I can literally turn it off and, and on. Yeah. And uh, I remember with me and Tasha playing this dude in college. And uh, I think you remember. I, t- I think you told me. Yeah. We're playing him. And the dude he's playing with is trash, but he he can play. Uh-huh. He's trash, but he can He can make a bucket. And it's me and Tasha on the same team. And... Uh, Tosh hoops, yeah. and I'm okay. If you ask Mel, I'm, 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 I'm <laughs> Mel okay. was like, uh, <laughs> he's like, hold on, I'm Percy. <laughs> <laughs> Mel was like, I don't know about Percy, Adrian. Right. <laughs> but uh, but um, so I am. We're playing them, and then I expect them to win, so I'm not playing hard, right? So then they just can't beat us, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm like, man, fuck this. Went for like six straight buckets and we end up winning, right? <laughs> so I was like, "Hey, fuck!" You That's why I feel like you can turn. I can turn it on and off. Oh, you know you're saying? like these niggas weak. Let these niggas weak. Let me just go ahead and go ahead and do it to them. Yeah, I feel you. Nah, uh, if we not going. If you're not going to play with no passion, yeah, don't play, don't play with me. Don't play with don't. Fight, <laughs> don't. Man, I yeah. used to be so mad at Percy. Nigga, run! Fuck! I'm trying, B. I'm trying. Hey, we back and forth on offense and defense. This nigga's still down there. I'm like, yo, if you can't run, well, somebody else can run. <laughs> we need some defense right now. I help. hate, I hate, if you need some help, ask for help. help. That's it. That's how I see it. If you need some help, ask for help. Right, right. We'll cover your ass. So where are we at on this list? Where are we at on this list? Uh, we were at Play With Passion, Don't Play At All. That was number nine. Mm. Um, let's take a, uh, when shaking hands, grip firmly, and then look, look in the eye. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree. Like that. So that was ten. That was ten. That was ten. All right. All right so um, I could agree. I could agree with most of those. Yeah, right. right. So a couple of them you, you just don't do out of just <laughs> yeah. practicality. Yeah, but I could agree with that for sure. Hold on, I got my little fantasy notes right here. Let me close this shit out. <laughs> <laughs> nah, looking too good. <laughs> fantasy, oh. is rough on it, boy. Also, I seen this thing too. What'd you get? Uh, it says one got to go. Okay. Shrimp. Steak, ribs, and fried chicken. What's the first thing that's staying for you? Fried chicken. Fried chicken stand? Yeah, dude, I eat chicken a lot. Fried chicken. I, chicken, I eat rice, some JJ's. Thighs, JJ's eggs. yesterday with the mouth sauce. It didn't hit the spot like it was supposed to. Because I was locked out, so I'm eating on the porch and shit. Yeah. So, you know, I'm rushing. And right. But fried chicken's one guy. I gotta you keep. Know, you know, you go to Uncle Remy's, they give you a thigh and, and, and a drumstick. Mm-hmm. Kind of like KFC type shit. Right? Yeah. With the mouth sauce. With the mouth sauce? Fire. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's staying for you? Do I gotta say it? Fried chicken. <laughs> fried chicken. Fried chicken. Uh, all right, shrimp, steak, and ribs. Man, it depends because it depends how the shrimp is. If it's breaded or if it's. What's my man's over there making coffee? Hey, Rick, you uh. <laughs> What's Rick over there doing? You buttering your loaf, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> um, see, the thing is, I eat ribs less than the rest of these things. Okay. So, but what's, what's staying next for sure? Steak. You know? Steak. 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 I gotta have a good ass steak. I gotta go. Out of everything there that I eat, everything left, ribs, steak, shrimp, I eat steak the most. The most? So, yeah, steak for me. But if you had a choice. If I had a choice, I'm still getting steak. Man, yeah, it's yeah, okay. Like, if I'm getting chicken and then steak. Steak, yeah, yeah. When I hit the menu, like, obviously, if it's a, if it's a good chicken place, I'm getting chicken. Yeah, of course, if that's what you're there for. And then one of my favorite steak places is a seafood spot. So, steak. Yeah. How you, uh, how you like your steaks cook? Um, I used to do like well done just yeah. cause I was a kid. Right. So like, I was just like, I want to cook completely, yeah. but I'm like medium. Well, okay. right. you pink, you, you eat your shit pink. 
Nah, at first I was like that too. Like, nah, we don't do none of that. Like, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, shit right yeah. Here. Nah, cook my shit. I want all my shit brown. Make the tip black. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> crispy. <laughs> yeah, all the crispy like, shit off of it. Like, like, cause that's how the taco meat is. Uh-huh. And, uh huh. And yeah, exactly. So it's all cooked all over. Mm-hmm. But now I, I transitioned to medium, and then medium, medium rare. Mm-hmm. No, I went to medium rare. Medium well, and then now, now I like my shit medium. You know, it's a little bit. A little extra juicy. Yeah, no, that's why I like this. It's a little so more, much more tender. Yeah. It's so much I just more don't, tender. I just don't like, like, that's why I like medium well. Right. I'll be telling them, they'll be like, how do you like your, your steak, sir? Specifically Medi- 98.2 degrees. That's what I need to figure out the temperature <laughs> I want it. But I'll be like medium well, but a little more to, like, I want the well, top so. to be well. But then I'm picky, so, and then I want the inside to be kind of. When we do steak night, my steaks be done before. You exactly, know. yeah. That's true. That's and true. my shit be. You let cook on the plate. Yeah, you know they say it cooks for ten more minutes. Yeah. So that's why, like, if I cook it. But the I'm pink don't it, go I'm away. <laughs> the pink don't go away. <laughs> <laughs> the pink be right there. <laughs> that's if you, you gotta know when to, you take it out. If you take it out on like rare, it'll finish cooking to medium. If you uh, take it out on on, on medium, it'll get to medium rare. Okay. So my mom well, they be, say you're supposed to write, let it rest after cooking it, though. Sure. I don't know. I mean, I'll be banging that shit. Hungry. Yeah, that shit right we got to have our steaks. We do. We do. Steaks. We got to have the steak night. We're going to record. record. Yeah, we might as well. <laughs> we're going to record. The, we're going to record how we cook the steaks. <laughs> All right. So then, shrimp or ribs? Shrimp or ribs? So it's... Um, yeah, you go first. Is shrimp included in seafood? Like, if I go to a seafood restaurant, I can't have no shrimp. Right. right. So this is one got to go and everything oh, about it. Gone. There's shrimp never oh, existed. Shrimp, shrimp, shrimp scampi, shrimp kebab. Shout out. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out. Oh, remember <laughs> that one time we sat there, uh, saute shrimp, barbecue <laughs> shrimp. Was that in class? No, nah, I think we was driving. Uh, you're right. You're right. <laughs> yeah, it makes things. <laughs> We drove for like 30 minutes thinking of different kind of cooked shrimp, barbecue shrimp, saute shrimp, shimmer shrimp, um, uh, what else? Shrimp, we, shrimp, 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 shrimp uh-huh. All yeah. caught for 30 minutes. Why? Because we were bored. <laughs> we were on this Forrest Gump. Cruise. Yeah, we were just talking about Forrest Gump. <laughs> but see, but ribs, like rib tips. Like I, when I think of ribs, I'm thinking of like going out west and getting some rib tips. I didn't even think about rib, rib tips. tips. Rib tips count? count as ribs. That's what I'm saying. Like I don't go to like I eat at Smoke Daddies. I eat at all these smokes that oh, like smoke shit. stops or smoke spots, and um, I just eat like a slab, baby bag right. or whatever. I'm not I'm not a rib order, so when I go somewhere, I don't order ribs. I eat ribs at home. Oh, uh, so then ribs might be your way. That's ribs is gonna be it, but if we gotta include rib, rib tips, tips when I go out west, yeah, to one, like we gonna do one. I ain't even gonna tease it. <laughs> <laughs> when I go out west, like it, shrimp to me is like shrimp's not a meal. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's appetizer. It's, it's either a side or like a complimentary mm-hmm. protein or meat, and ribs is the, the shrimp. Is a, a meal. But yeah. between a rack of ribs and shrimp, I would take shrimp. But if you gonna throw, if you gonna throw red tips in there. Yeah, that's I'm it's th- easy. Yeah, I'm, yeah. See y'all later. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, shrimp. shrimp, man. So for me, just on the strength of rib tips, I'm, I'm keeping ribs. I think I'll yeah. Uh, ribs, ribs might jump ahead of steak with the, just for the rib tips. <laughs> <laughs> for real. Some juicy ass rib tips. Man, I'm I'm thinking about it right now. With, with the bread, I'm think I have it in my head. My yeah. little plate with my little red stripes Not on the side. Sauce, barbecue sauce. Basically. Yeah, with the bar- with my little red stripes. You know the little bowls that they be having. Uh, with the, yeah, yeah, with the little yup. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? The little whatever. With the bread, rib tips. And they put this on top of them. Uh huh. Like I like mine on top. Right, all the sauce. Yeah, and pour them on top. Because by the time you get it on the bottom, that shit be fucking yeah. breaking all. <laughs> no, it don't make no sense. So what you going with, really? Trying? I'm going with coconut shrimp. Oh, shit. Uh, coconut I'm going to have to stay with the ribs and keep oh, kick the shrimp. Because I could go to a seafood spot and, and not get. You Shrimp in my now, nah, fuck that. I won't eat oysters anywhere else. Only in New Orleans. Only in New Orleans. What about Boston? Nope. <laughs> I might. I might. I might. 
But it might not taste like it's gonna be like it's gonna be Creole cooking. Yeah, see, it's Boston, nah, I'm straight. That's like nah, I'm good. <laughs> so I'm no shrimp. I will go with the ribs. No shrimp. I'm right with it. So, so yeah, then we, else to we talk about like what, nah, what we on? talked about a lot of shit today. Your boy working on closing the deal. I usually don't talk about it until it's until it's done. Until oh yeah, done data. So just know we coming and oh me too. Yeah, you, you working on the deal. <laughs> me too. Working on the deal. Don't worry about. I can't. My lawyer. I can't talk. <laughs> I can't talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Can I speak My about it? Oh, uh, also, um, we are doing a clothes drive, y'all. Um, be ready, be prepared to get all your clothes ready. Um, more details will be out soon. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned. Get all your clothes. Get the old clothes, your dirty clothes. Come wash. Don't bring some dirty socks and and fucking shirts and shit. Wash that you don't shit. Want your yeah. yeah, this is going to all this. This the point of this is going to a lot of homeless people who are in need for the winter shelters. So winter is coming. Be on the lookout. So if you haven't got a chance to already, there's a little button down there, a little YouTube logo right, right around that area. Is it here? And if you click on it, I think it's only on. You can see it on a, on the phone. Mm. If you're on the desktop, it's right there. You can click on it. Subscribe, so no need to even click out of the video now. Just go ahead and do it right now. <laughs> Facts, do it now, man. <laughs> you there? You. There we go. <laughs> you there? <laughs> hey, hey, hey see girl. that was a hit. Uh -huh. It had to be. Yeah. It's on the album, wasn't it? Yeah, hey, you. Uh, yeah. Man. <laughs> All, right. All right, so then uh, that's it, right? We out of here, y'all. Peace out. Peace out.